Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. A video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I am going to be joined by Elfily. And it looks like he's gone on a little bit of a runner there. Oh, he's gone to fetch me my breakfast. He's gone to get me my lovely apples. Oh, how joyful. And wait a minute, Lee. When I went to bed last night, that cake was full. Have you been eating? Have you been numbing on my cake? <laughs> I think you've been rumbled, Lee. I think I have caught you crumb-handed. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. I don't even want my puny little apple. You can take your apple, yeah? And you can eat it, because I don't want it. <laughs> no, okay, okay. I suppose I'll take them. And if I get a little bit hungry later on, I'll throw them away and go eat a cake. <laughs> right, okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to be uh, playing uh, the Fish Me A Dish mini game, which is my fishing game. Uh, which I've been building in the last few videos. But before I do that, uh, I'm going to go over here uh, to my love garden and I'm going to welcome a new friend. And today I am adding Noni Trester. And uh, that's because of a comment that she left saying, uh, this was on my 100th episode, by the way, the one when I went uh, back in time. And uh, she left a comment saying, oh my God, I'm liking and favoriting this. Oh my God. If I was on a chair, I would have been on the edge of it. But unfortunately, I'm in a laundry basket. And yeah, that's what she commented. And I actually replied, like, asking her, why is she in a laundry basket? And uh, she didn't reply, or if she did reply, I didn't notice. So, um, yeah, it, it just made me laugh. It was so random, the fact that she just added, um, yeah, I'm in a laundry basket at the end of her comment. So, yeah, uh, welcome to my love garden, Noni. And, okay, this is, this is the moment I was kind of dreading. I need to come and get another dog with me. And things haven't been going well with me in the last few videos. Uh, you may remember that in my last video, the Arbiter died, and the video before that, Oreo died. So I am determined to look after this dog. And I know all the dogs are looking at me now like, don't take me, don't take me. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to take, I'll take Benji with me. So Benji, he's the uh, the coward here sitting in the corner. And I don't blame him to be fair. You can come and join me. And I also uh, have some extra sad news. At the end of the last video, uh, Lee started to dig a grave for Oreo. Uh, but unfortunately, while digging the grave, Sparky fell into the grave and it was a watery grave. It was full of water uh, and, and unfortunately drowned. And I know it sadly, I can see you there bowing your head. And so unfortunately, not only did the Arbiter go in the last video, uh, but also right after the video, Sparky went as well. So that means in the last two videos, I have lost three dogs, which is, which is a new record for me. And it's certainly something I'm not proud of, but it's astonishing. And I don't know about you, but it seems slightly suspicious that uh, after my 100th video and hit the target escaped, dogs seem to be dying a lot more than they used to. I mean, they always died a lot. It's always something that I've been known for, but I don't know. It seems to have just ramped up recently. Uh, so I've come up with an idea. I'm going to build over here uh, a dog safety box thing. Basically, I want to make sure that Benji is with me at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. And hello, ladies. What are you doing over here? Have you been doing some some practicing, doing some fishing? I suppose we've got a mermaid and a um, penguin here, so uh, they should both be quite good at fishing. Or have you just been having pillow fights? I can see you there holding the big pillow there, Rosie. <laughs> You've been run, but I know you haven't been doing any work. You've just been playing around. <laughs> I would be annoyed, but I do exactly the same. Right, okay, so let's build a little... Before before we do anything, let's build a little safety box here for Benji. Uh, it's not, not going to be anything extravagant. Like, it's not about comfort. I just want to make sure he survives. That's the only thing I care about. Right, I might just do this um, uh, a little bit higher up here, I think, like that. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be like a kind of mini doghouse, but uh, not a nice little wooden doghouse. It's going to be uh, a secure one. I'm going to do something nicer on the floor. What can be uh, a nice thing on the floor? I do wool. I do some grey wool for the floor there, just so he's got a bit of comfort. It's like a little bed. And then, yeah, Benji, do you want to join me over here? Uh, probably not, but sadly, it's for this is for your own good, Benji. Trust me. Uh, if you saw what happened in the last few videos, uh, you would know that you're much better off in there rather than following round with me. Right, so... If you go in there, there you go, you can stand up, that's fine by me, and um, I need some glass, is there any glass in here? Here we go, here's a bunch of glass here, and uh, I can just go and uh, do this on the front just to make sure, um, yeah, <laughs> so we can still look out, but nothing can hurt him, and he can't drown, he can't run into a cactus, he can't get blown up by any googlies or anything, you're safe in there, so at the end of the video, I'm going to come back, and you better still be safe, otherwise I'm going to cry, <laughs> and as you can see over here, this is, um, this is sadly where uh, Sparky and uh, the Arbiter died. And what's, what's he put here? Sparky, sad face, the dog. It, it is really sad, actually. Should we, should we throw some stuff down to pay our respects? What should I throw down for the Arbiter? 
Um, I'm going to throw down an arrow because I've got nothing more fitting. And here we go. Sparky, you can have the uh, the apples that Lee loves so much. You can have them down there. <laughs> anyway, to business. I do actually have quite a lot to get done in this video. So I've probably wasted a bit of time, but uh, I always do. Uh, let me quickly show you uh, what progress has been made. Uh, I'm going to go in here quick. Uh, these little entrance bits won't be there uh, once you can play the game, but I've left them here for now. And yeah, it's pretty much the same as it was. These blocks here are only marking uh, where what we're building today is going to be. Basically, we're going to make this look like a kitchen by adding like furnaces and ovens and hobs and fridges and all stuff like that. And uh, they're going to be placed where these blocks are. And uh, basically, the way the game works is... Um, uh, I'm going to do you a quick demonstration now, actually. Uh, basically, these will all lift up. Actually, well, why am I trying to explain it? Why don't we just play it? Have you got a fishing rod on you, Lee? Have you, are, are you holding one? Uh, I've got a spare one if he doesn't, actually. Uh, have, you, have you got a fishing rod? Right, he's got a fishing rod. Right, we're just going to have a quick practice game now. And then at the end of the video, once it's all finished, we're going to have the proper big game. So basically, I press that button there. And there's a whole load of redstone, which I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, which is above the ceiling. And hopefully, in about 10 seconds or so, uh, this block here should lift up. And here we go. And now the game has begun. And basically, it's who can get the most fish. So uh, you've got to get the fishing rod down there. And if you don't know how fishing works, uh, the, uh, the little float needs to be bobbing. Uh, otherwise, you can't catch a fish. So you can see it's kind of moving and bobbing up and down a little bit. Once that gets sunk under the water, I need to try and pull back my line uh, in order for me to catch a fish. And if I catch one, it will land down in that little stream underneath me. There we go. I got one. There we go. That's one fish caught. Right, see if I can get another one quick in this hole. And oh, look, he's just got one as well. Um, all right, okay, come on. Quick, 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 quick. I need to get another bobber. There we go. I got another fish. Two straight away. Oh, and Lee got another one as well. Oh, oh it's shut. I can still get it. There we go. I got another fish. Right, we're now onto the middle hole. And this is where we've got to both share that piece of water. And uh, I need to get as many fish as I can. I've done well so far, though. You'll see a little collection of fish down there I can uh, pick up at the end of the game. Right, I've got another bobber. I got another one bobbing up and down. Come on, you can do this, Stampy. You can do this. Come on, fish me a dish, Stampy. Fish me a dish. <laughs> All you need to do now is uh, wait for it to go down. Lee's having some trouble. He's not getting a bobber. You see, he keeps flicking it down. Uh, that's because uh, it's getting stuck on the walls and stuff. Uh, so it does actually take a little bit of skill just to get it so you could potentially get a fish. Uh, but once it's there bobbing, it's kind of just luck to whether you're going to get one. And so what I can do now is I can still do it through the glass. So instead of moving on to the next hole, I'm going to stay here for a little bit and uh, see if I got another chance of getting a fish. So uh, this is a risky move because the uh, the last hole for me is my easiest one because it's the closest one. So it kind of goes hard to easy from me. And uh, for him, it went sort of easy to hard. And come on, come on, fish me a dish. Come on, it's been in there bobbing for ages. I'm tempted to just pull it out now and go to the the next one but oh here we go there we go i got one oh no i didn't get it in the water oh, i was standing in a stupid position so i didn't get it right i need to get a bobber the way to do it is you bounce it off this little block in front of you and then you can get a block oh no it's shut it's shut right game over is his still bobbing okay he's he yeah it's done it's done it's game over right come count your fish come here i got i got three i think i believe uh this might have been a draw i think we may have got three each uh let, let me go and see uh, how, how many have you got there, Lee? How many has he got? I, I don't want to go in there. Do you want to go pick them up? Because I don't want to pick them up. Right, one, two, three. It was a draw. It was a draw. Uh, this is only the practice round, though, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the kitchen. And at the end, we're going to have another game. And I came up uh, with a little bet. Uh, for us to do uh, before this video uh, for who wins. And I said that if I win, then I get to not go on my diet anymore. Basically, I'm allowed to eat as much cake as I want, <laughs> like I used to. So uh, there's a lot of... um. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for why I want to win. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you this redstone up here because I am so proud of what I built. Um, it looks a bit of a mess. It looks a little bit like spaghetti bolognese up here, but I always think the best redstone should. So um, the way it kind of works is a little bit complicated. Basically, um, right, where do I start? So you press the button and then pieces of dirt gets fired out of these dispensers into these cobwebs and they slowly drop, which is sort of setting off the timer. And then once they land down on that pressure pad, um, it will set off these pistons. And uh, where the pink wall is, is where the pistons are. And you can see that they're already extended. Uh, but once something drops on, uh, they will get turned off. Um, if, if I don't miss the pressure pad. Oh, no, no, they're all left on because of something from later on. If I get rid of this, uh, then put that back down there. Um, if I try and not get it in the cobweb. 
There we go. Then these should turn off. Okay, I, I think I've got something wrong here somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, so basically then these will turn these off and uh, we'll also drop something out, uh, else out of these dispensers. And then that will turn these ones back on. And then these pistons will lift up. And at the same time, uh, it will drop something out of one of these dispensers. And then this will open up the final one and turn that one off. And then fire something out of this dispenser. <laughs> then once that lands, uh, it sends a signal to all of them. Uh, so they all stay lit up, which means the pistons are down. And I know that probably doesn't make much sense, but... Uh, for people that do know redstone, they might kind of understand it. Uh, I'm sure it's not the most effective way to do it, but um, I was kind of proud because I did it all by myself. And uh, I did have witnesses. Here you can see... Um I, Amy Lee 33 hereby witness that Stampy did this all by himself. No, really, he did, I promise. And then Lee wrote, Also, Alpha Lee seen the cat do it. This complicated redstone palaver. <laughs> and no, uh, that's not a joke. I, I actually did honestly do this by myself. And it took me uh, probably about four hours in total. <laughs> Lots of, like, times when I was sort of changing my mind and stuff. And all that, I've got some customers. I've got some people here sitting in the restaurant. Um, right, I, bet, I better get cooking. Um, I don't have any furnaces yet. Right, let me get a quick furnace here and uh, I'm, I'm gonna cook these these late these ladies some fish oh here we go here's a furnace that was just thrown at me right if I just put a little bit of coal in here and uh, I'm gonna go and cook a couple fish for them what I actually plan to do um, is to put uh, behind here uh, just some of the different meals that we sell and uh, seeing as this is a fish restaurant it's all gonna be different types of fish so um, what the plan is is to have raw fish there and then uh, if I steal some fish from down in the furnace, uh, there's also going to be uh, and the one next to it, cooked fish. Then there's going to be living fish. And then the final one is going to be the fish surprise, uh, which is basically just one of both a different type of fish. There we go. <laughs> they're, they're all the different meals that we sell in the kitty kitchen. <laughs> anyway, ladies, your, your dinners are ready. Uh, I believe that we got... Uh, one cooked fish and one raw fish for the penguin as she uh, as she always eats. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, ladies. Enjoy your meal. Right, let's shut these doors so we don't get any googlies joining us. Is Benji okay in here? Are you doing okay out there, buddy? Are you alright? Oh, I do feel kind of bad leaving him out here by himself. <laughs> I don't even have any food or anything for him. I suppose uh, I can try and catch him a fish a little bit later on. <laughs> anyway, we should, we should do some work. We should actually try and get something done now because I've literally spent over half the video talking about what I'm going to do uh, rather than actually doing anything. And I do definitely um, want to have time to get the game done eventually. Right, so basically all we need to do is fill in uh, these areas where these blocks are with just stuff, just sort of kitcheny looking stuff. So um, I might do like a little counter underneath here. And uh, these stone slabs are actually the uh, the glitch stone slabs. Uh, you can see that if I put do uh, two down next to each other, uh, they actually come up there as if they're like a full block. And uh, I've actually said in a past video how you make them, so I'm not going to go over it again. But uh, I can leave that as a link in the description if you want to uh, try and make stuff like that. And uh, I might do a couple hobs here actually. So if I put down some... Uh, detector rails here. Uh, they kind of look like hobs. I think actually only having one might look a bit better. And then uh, I might do... Uh, what could I do next to it? Uh, I might do kind of just like a chimney going to the ceiling maybe. Uh, that might look quite cool. Like I want to add quite a lot here but I don't want it to look too cluttered. So uh, that kind of looks okay. And I could do like along the top. Uh, these the whole way across looks kind of kitcheny. And uh, yeah that, that might look okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of try and make this up and do like one side because uh, the whole place has got to be exactly symmetrical uh, just so it's like the same for both teams. So I'm going to do one side and then I'm going to uh, go over to the other side and just make sure uh, it's exactly the same. So uh, what can I do here? Uh, I might do uh, a fridge maybe on one, of, on one of these sides if I do like a fridge here. And uh, the way you do a fridge is uh, you use an iron door. And I've actually got a bunch of iron on me now so I can make that very quickly... Uh, here and then uh, I think it can I can I make an iron block do I have enough iron to make a full iron block how much do you need you need quite a lot it's quite a um quite an expensive block to make yeah look you need like nine pieces of iron <laughs> it's such a waste but it will make quite a nice fridge here actually I need two as well don't I, I need two iron blocks right uh, let's see if I can make another one. I don't use iron much. I mean, I only use it for tools, to be fair. I might as well uh, use it here to make something look pretty. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to make that uh, into a fridge. So if I just do uh, the doorway. Oh, I've done the door wrong. Oh, actually, I think you need to put the door down first and then add the blocks afterwards. So if you do 
uh, that there. There we go. Then you can put the uh, the two blocks behind it like that. And I think I've accidentally, accidentally got rid of some snow. There we go. Uh, so yeah, th there's my nice fridge. And then uh, I need to do some furnaces. So I'm going to uh, make a bunch of furnaces here. And I'm going to do them uh, underneath there. So... Um, like, like, these aren't just to look good as well, because what these do is they block. So say if I'm at, um, this window here, it means I won't be able to shoot across to that one and cheat. And so it just sort of restricts the area a bit. But it does make it look better as well. It does sort of, uh, make it look like some sort of realistic busy kitchen. So uh, if I make some, uh, a whole load of furnaces, because I'm probably going to need a bunch of them. And, uh, I could do, if I do one there, and then next to that I might do... Um, just one of these again, and then I might try and make it look like as if there's a um, like a tray on top of it. Uh, I'm worried that this is uh, going to be too small though. But if I got some smooth stone on me, and I believe I do, I can make a smooth stone pressure pad. Oh no, I don't. Uh, I think I've got some outside the front though, so I can quickly uh, go grab some smooth stone. And then what you do is you do kind of like these, and it looks like kind of like a cutting map sort of. Uh, so if I just go grab a bunch from in here, because I might need quite a lot of that anyway. It makes quite a good uh, counter. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a few of them across the area. And then I'm going to very quickly test just to make sure that uh, it is properly blocked off. And then we can have the first proper game. Uh, I also might... Uh, I, I did plan to do this, but I'm not sure if I really need it anymore. Uh, I might do it so that there's some sort of way to... Um, uh, some sort of way to, to check. And oh, look what Lee's doing. Oh, that looks oh, that looks so much better than what I was doing. You carry on doing what you're doing, Lee, because that looks absolutely awesome. And this is what I was saying about the little the little chopping boards that you can add on stuff. Look what I've built and look what he's done in the same time. Mine looks like such a mess compared to Lee. <laughs> as long as it's blocking things, okay? It doesn't really matter for now. Right, so I want to kind of do uh, the same sort of thing here. Right, let me just quickly check that uh, if I am here, would I be able to get to that black back one? I don't think I, I think it would still be blocked off. Let me just get rid of this here. Yeah, I still don't think I'd be able to get over there. So it doesn't matter that uh, these aren't full blocks here. Like, I do want the room to still look uh, sort of quite open. And uh, I don't know, like, I hate it when it looks too cluttered. So uh, here I'm just going to do uh, the same kind of things as I've done before. I might do like a whole load of furnaces or something here. Uh, just like a big row of them or something. And then maybe like a, like a chimney coming out the top. So if I do like three furnaces along like that. And then I could use my uh, my fancy pants glitched. Uh, actually, I'm going to use smooth stone for this. And then um, do this uh, along like that. And then like have the chimney going out the top as if this is like a real kitchen. Does that look okay? Um, maybe, maybe. And is that a squid? Is that? But I didn't even notice that squid joined into the game. <laughs> I, I didn't see that he joined in. Hello, squid. Welcome to the game. <laughs> Um, it probably doesn't make much sense to what we're doing right now, but we're basically making this into a kitchen uh, But you can only place things uh, instead of where these blocks are You can't have it uh, too blocked off because this is where the game's gonna be <laughs> It's funny how like everything I'm with goes after fish like we're all like fish addicts bears eat fish You always see them like getting them out of streams cats of course eat fish uh, squids eat fish <laughs> Penguins eat fish and I'm, I'm assuming mermaids eat fish. There's probably not much else to eat You don't what do you do you nibble on some seaweed or something? <laughs> Do you know why the mermaid blushed? Because the seaweed. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Don't encourage me. <laughs> and what do you call a fish with no eyes, by the way? A fizz. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm getting worse, I'm getting worse. Right, I don't really like this. I might uh, sort of change this a bit. Um, I mean, I, I can sort this all out afterwards. I kind of just want to play it right now. Uh, as long as if we just get rid of uh, all of the clutter, we've kind of made it look a bit like a kitchen and we can uh, finish it off after the video. But I'm just really looking forward to getting rid of my diet. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I need to make sure I win. Right. So if um, Lee, if you go get ready, uh, I think we're just about ready to start. Let me just make sure I've got my uh, fishing rod on me. And uh, if everyone else just gives us a bit of room, I might go grab another fishing rod because actually, I think I should just about be okay with that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to grab another one uh, just in case I do run out halfway through the game because that would be <laughs> really embarrassing. I'm going to grab a spare fishing rod and I'm just going to go and quickly make sure that uh, all of the redstone is uh, reset. Uh, the way it resets is you just have to wait for the uh, the item to despawn. And oh, so, it's because Lee's put glowstone in there. We can't get up anymore. Can you get out the way quick, please, Squid? Otherwise, we're both going to get stuck in here. <laughs> Why did you have to follow so closely behind me? Um, yeah, can you go down? Can, uh, can you break the ladders behind me, please, Lee, so I can so I can get back down? Just the ladders underneath. And I wouldn't go up there, by the way, Squid, because there's pressure pads everywhere. And if you you step on them, you set all the redstone off. Right. 
Okay, there we go. Let, let me try. Let me try this again. If I just um, nerd pole my way up for now, then I can destroy this later on. Uh, it's not too big a problem. I must wrong. Oh, it's because there's a ladder in the way there. There we go. Or let me just go and make sure that uh, everything's reset. Yeah, it does seem like everything has despawned. So yeah, we, we are ready to play. So if you get into your position, Lee, uh, you can get to either side. I don't matter. We can switch sides if you want to make it fair. Uh, it really doesn't make any difference. And <laughs> Squid, you can be there. What's going to happen is Amy and Lee, you can be sitting here ready for your meal. You can be the chef, Squid. Me and Lee will be the people gathering the food. And we need to try and by the end of the video, get all of the fish cooked and ready. <laughs> right, so make sure there's no fish in my inventory. Right, Squid, you can have a, uh, a quick fish now just to get you going. Uh, you as well, Lee. Make sure you've got no fish so it doesn't get confusing. And we should be about to begin. So, Squid, when you're ready, uh, just press that button behind the counter. You see that little button next to the door? If you press that now, and then, then we'll begin. There's a little bit of a timer. Make sure you don't press it again, by the way, because uh, all the redstone will just go crazy, right? This is it. This is the big deciding game. This is going to be whether Stampy Cat is allowed to eat cakes in his video or whether he's just going to eat um, uh, apples for the rest of the time. And I wasn't even ready. I wasn't even ready for the first one. Right, last time, we both got three fish each. So I'm determined to try and beat that this go. Come on, I've got a bobber straight away. I think that was almost my first one. I managed to get a bobber. And that's what it's all about. It's all about the bobbers. Right, come on, I just need it to sink in. Come on. Come on, fishies. I'm going to do a fishy call. Bloop, 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 or like... Come on, fishies. Come on. I've, I've had it bobbing the entire time. It's just not sunk down. Oh, come on, please. Please. Uh, if, if, if I get you fish, I'll, I'll feed you cake, I promise. Uh, uh, do, do fish eat cakes? I think they eat fish cakes. And oh no, it's shut. His side shut, my side's about to shut as well. Right, I give up on that one. Right, moving on to the next one. I haven't got any fish yet, but Eva has he, so uh, we should be fair. Oh, but he's got a bobber straight away. I've not got a bobber yet. This one can be a bit difficult. It's weird, you've got to kind of like bounce it on the block in front to try and get the bobber. There we go, I got one. I, I got myself a bobber. <laughs> it's such a weird phrase, isn't it? Oh no, it's sunk. There we go, I got one. I got um, one fish up. I've got one and I don't think he's got any yet. Come on, come on, fish. Come on, start biting. Fish me a dish, fish me a dish. <laughs> it's like the little cash, the catchphrase of the game. <laughs> fish me a dish. I want my meow munch. Come on, come on, fishy. Start biting, please. And I know that that's the next one shut. Right, shall I stick with this one or shall I move on to the next one? I think I'm going to move on because uh, sometimes the fish can miss getting into the stream when you do it that way. Uh, I think that's actually what happened in the last game. Oh, no, there we go. I got two. I've got two. Come on, come on. I can taste the cake already. I'm already having my cake dreams. Come on, if I get one more fish, that's blatantly sealing the deal. I'm pretty sure that Lee hasn't got any fish yet. So come on. Come on, please bring me a fish. Come on. Quickly, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, he got one. But I didn't get one. It dunked down, but I didn't get a fish from it. Come on, I need one more just to seal the deal. Come on. I'm getting a bit worried now. No, my fishing rod did break. Lucky I went and got my spare. Come on, go in, go in, go in, go in. You're allowed to carry on fishing until, like, you pull your rod in. And, oh, oh, he's allowed to wait now. Because it's in, he's allowed to wait. Oh, I don't think he got a fish, though. Right, that's it. Game over. Let's count your fish. I got two, and I believe Lee didn't get any. Let's, let's meet in the middle, and let's throw down our fish. You can be the judge, Squid. You can be the judge of who got the most fish and who is the, the winner. Right, I think Lee might be going back into there. Okay, right. So throw them down. Throw them down. What, what's your loot? Did you get any of them? Did, did you get any? I, I think he might have got one. Yeah, he got one and I got two, which means I can have I can have cake, which means I'm allowed to have my diet. Forget the fish. Forget the fish. The girls can eat them. Come on, can I have a, can I have a, a victory cake to celebrate? I'm not even hungry. I'm not even hungry. This is my big victory cake and I'm not even hungry. You know what? I'm going to save that cake and I'm going to have that for my breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> right, so that's pretty much how the game's going to be. We might uh, tidy it up a little bit. And now look, people are getting, people are waiting. People aren't going to leave you a tip, Squid, if you leave them waiting for too long. <laughs> right, so I put the, uh, the fish into here. I haven't even got them. I think someone else has picked them up. Come on, don't leave the ladies waiting. If there's one thing I've learned, never leave a lady waiting. Right, so yeah, we might touch up uh, the kitchen a little bit and make it look a little bit nicer. And I might come up with some way of counting the fish. Or maybe do like item frames along each wall so you can sort of uh, display them at the end to show who won. I don't know, just a, a more elegant way of seeing who won rather than just throwing the fish on the floor and trying to count them. <laughs> it's not very hygienic, if nothing else. But sadly, that is the end of uh, the video here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. <laughs> Good luck making it. It's such a fun little game. And so yeah, there'll be a link in the description uh, to the next part of my lesson let's play uh, which will be up very soon so uh, i'll see you guys in my next episode bye